Hello and welcome to another SmartSafe ADAS calibration video. Today we have a 2023 Hyundai Kona Electric. We'll be calibrating the front camera for lane departure warning and we'll be using our iSmart Link 801 display tablet along with our ADAS mobile calibration frame. So let's go ahead and get started. As with all ADAS calibration using our SmartSafe equipment, it all starts with establishing communication between the vehicle and the tablet. And this is done via the VCI or vehicle communication interface that plugs into the OBD2 port of the vehicle. Next, we'll go ahead and turn the ignition on to the vehicle. And then we'll press ADAS calibration on the tablet. We always start an ADAS calibration with a system scan, and this is part of our pre repair process. So we'll go ahead and click on ADAS system scan, and we'll look at what currently the vehicle has in terms of DTC or trouble codes. Now, because this is a demonstration, currently the vehicle does not have any DTCs, so everything will show up here in green. But we'll move forward as if we are working with an actual trouble here. So next, we'll go ahead and click on the report, and we'll select a report type of pre-repair. At this point, you can add photos of the vehicle if you'd like by choosing the camera option, choose a photo, or I'm sorry, take a photo, and you can take a picture of the vehicle or the dash to show what the current state of the vehicle is. So we'll add that picture to our pre-repair. We'll say OK. And this generates our pre-repair report. We'll go ahead and click Save. Click the back arrow. And then we'll click on ADAS calibration function. We'll choose lane departure warning, front camera calibration, SPTAC calibration for static. And here we're just given some prerequisites or pre-calibration steps. Uh, one asking why are we performing this calibration function. Um, so in this case here, we will pretend as if we were replacing the windshield and the front camera was removed and reinserted. Um, also, there are pre-calibration preparation steps. For example, making sure that the vehicle is on a level floor, the vehicle doors are all closed, um, all the tire pressures are set to the manufacturer's OEM um, specifications, we make sure that our headlamps are turned off, ignition switch on, and of course the field of view of the camera uh, where the, um, that is all nice and clean on the windshield. And of course, all of your surroundings uh, that you don't have anything that's um, that could impair the calibration function. So we'll go ahead and with, with that, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And again, just some additional information in terms of how close the target is going to be positioned. On this particular vehicle, being a Hyundai, it is a two step calibration, uh, static calibration function, meaning that we'll place the target at one distance. I believe it's 100 millimeters. And then we will move the target. Uh, to 1,000 millimeters. So again, it's a two-step process for the Hyundai. Next, we're gonna go ahead and choose the calibration platform that we're using. Uh, today, we'll be using our ADAS Mobile. So I'll go ahead and select ADAS Mobile. And from here, we'll go ahead and perform the setup, starting with uh, plumbing the front and rear of the vehicle or points A and B to determine our center line. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Starting at the front of the vehicle, we'll be defining our point A. Now, normally we would have our five line laser placed here at the front. On some vehicles, however, um, the vehicle may be too low and the laser cannot penetrate the undercarriage of the vehicle. So at the, in that case, the five line laser gets moved to the rear. This particular vehicle, however, calls for the five line laser to be placed in the rear. And the reason for that is because the first position of the target frame is only gonna be 100 millimeters away from the 
front bumper here. So that's the reason why we will place this in the rear so that we could get a better uh, line definition by shooting the laser from the rear of the vehicle towards the front. So with that, we will go ahead and use our laser reflector at the front of the vehicle. So our first step here is to go ahead and plumb the center point again for point A or the front of the vehicle. On the Hyundai, this badge is approximately six and a half inches uh, in width. So the center point is gonna be three and a quarter. Uh, that can also be determined by the license plate frame bolts. On this particular model, we do have a center point uh, button for the hood here. So we can use that as a marker. So we'll go ahead and find our center here. And then place our cross marker. Next, we'll go ahead and place our laser reflector pointing towards the rear of the vehicle. Okay, let's move on to the next step at the rear of the vehicle. At the rear of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and define our point B. So we'll go ahead and take our plumb bomb again. And get that lined up with the center point of our emblem. Okay, so we found our point B, and next we'll go ahead and place our five line laser above the marker here. And then we'll go ahead and use the auxiliary mirror and face that towards the front of the vehicle so we can see when the five line laser reflects off of the laser reflector that we placed at the front of the vehicle earlier. Okay, we'll find just that here. And I can see the laser reflecting off of the reflector there. So we're all set and we'll go ahead and move back to the front of the vehicle. Moving back to the front of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead now and remove our laser reflector so that the five line laser can shoot all the way through from the bottom of the vehicle. And our next step is to mark two points, C1 and C2, along our laser line or center line. So C1 is gonna be 100 millimeters behind this particular target here. So I've got our tape measure set up at the center here and our first point will be right here. So I'm gonna line this cross pad up at 100 and with the laser line. And then the next one will be at 1000, which is gonna be right back here. So again, looking for the laser line from the five line laser, I'll place this target here at 1000 millimeters. So this will be our two points, C1 and C2, where we'll be placing our target. So our next step is to go ahead and install the cross laser attachment to the calibration frame. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then we're gonna go ahead and move our calibration frame to our first target position, C1. So go ahead and grab our frame here. We'll turn on our cross laser and we'll position it approximately where it needs to be. We still have to make some fine tune adjustments. So just get it approximate at this point. The next thing we need to do is level out the frame. So we'll look at our bubble indicators here on the top and then we'll go ahead and make some adjustments here. So it looks like I'm a little high on this side here. So we'll make an adjustment. And that's good there. So now I'll go ahead and align this up more accurately. We'll lock down our casters. And once again, this is position C1, which is 100 millimeters away from the front marker. So with that set, our next step is to go ahead and straighten out or the, adjust the yaw of the frame. So we have an adjustment knob back here so that we can bring this back to center. And looking at my cross markers, we're just about there, okay. So we'll go ahead and move on to our next step. We're gonna go ahead and increase the height of the frame 
and it calls for 14, 15 millimeters. So we'll turn on our height laser here. And currently we're at roughly 1100 millimeters. So we'll bring this up. at 14.15. Now with all of that movement that we just made, we want to go ahead and double check one more time before we remove our center laser. So I'm just going to take a look here again to see if we need to make any adjustments. Okay, we're looking good right there. We're still nice and level. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next step, which will be to install the target and remove the center laser. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our center laser off right now. I'm gonna go ahead and flip up the tab here, and then I'll go ahead and grab the target. So for this Hyundai, we're using the target LEM0109. So I'll go ahead and place that into position. And then I'll slide our side brackets on to secure it in place. And then I'll go ahead and turn off our height laser. And at this point, we're ready to calibrate. So with the calibration frame all set up, I'm gonna go ahead now and stay behind the sight line of the camera. And I'll go ahead and hit calibration. Okay, now in progress. Okay, so the first step of that calibration, again, as I mentioned earlier, there's two steps to this particular calibration. First one at 100 millimeters. Now we're being prompted to move the uh, setup to the next point. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the calibration frame over to the next point or C2. So go ahead and release. I'm going to get it into position, but I'm going to have to install the center laser again, just so that we have it aligned. So give me one second here. That. Place this here. Put our central laser back on. Turn it back on here. And we'll go ahead and line up Okay. We'll go ahead and lock down our casters. and then make any kind of fine tune adjustment. This just needs to be done within five to 10 minutes of the first C1 point of our calibration. So it gives me enough time here to check everything, make sure we're still aligned. So looking at everything right now, we're centered here, I've got my height still correct. So we'll go ahead and remove the central laser again. And place the target back into position. Attach our side mounts here, and we're locked into position. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK on the tablet. Again, it's prefacing, making sure that we've gone ahead and make all the adjustments, which I've already performed here. So go on to the next step. And now I'm ready to press calibration again. So pressing the calibration button, and we have a successful completion of the calibration step. So I'll hit OK. It's asking me now whether I'd like to confirm and create a ADAS report. I'll say OK. And this creates the diagnostics report. So the last step we want to do is we'll go ahead and first save the diagnostics report. We'll click the back arrow. We're going to perform now a post repair or post uh, calibration scan. So generate that. 
And this is to confirm that we don't have any lingering DTCs um, before we generate our report. So I've got all green indicators back, so I'll go ahead and hit the report button. I'll change our repair type from pre-repair to post-repair. Then I will hit the add button to add in our pre-repair as well as our diagnostic scan to be added to the post-repair report. And then hit OK. And now we have our post-repair. And it shows that we have completed the calibration successfully. So I'll click Save on that. And I'll go ahead and exit out of the tablet. So this completes the calibration or the front camera calibration on our 2023 Hyundai Kona Electric. We hope you found the video helpful and we'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.